Brunt took a pretty good shot from uh, David Lee with the elbow. How's the uh, neck feel? I'm fine. I'll be ready by Thursday. What happened on the day? Uh, <clears throat> I got bowed in the neck or in the spine. Did you, did you know? Did you know who did it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How bothered you right now with the way you guys are playing? Now with the right players bothered, concerned? Is there is there concern in, in how you guys are playing right now? By well, the way, we've been struggling. This is the last team that you want to play well-oiled machine like this, so they exploit everything that you're not doing well at that point in time of the season. And right now, we're just not playing good basketball. So, you know, we got uh, we got to figure it out. You know, and I'm still confident in the bunch, I'm confident that we can uh, turn things around. But right now, it's uh, it's not frustrating. It's just um, it's something you just got to figure out as a, as a as a veteran ball club and as a group that you know wants to do something special again. And uh, you know, so uh, we got a couple of days until we get back at it. Brown, with not a lot of practice time, all he's been facing. How do you get these guys on the same page with that championship mentality? Um, you know, first of all, you gotta you gotta take every shoot around, every film session, and uh, every opportunity that we have um, to be together, we gotta take it very seriously. And if that's what we want to do, you know, we're here to win a championship, and uh, you know, we gotta have that mindset every single day. And that's both on the floor and off the floor. You gotta carry that with you every day. So. You know, if it's making sacrifices for your, you know, for yourself, the benefit for the team, taking away things that you love to do, but just you, you know, you feel like you got to be committed more to the team, then so be it. So, you know, right now, you know, the way we've been playing, you know, been so like roller coaster all season long, you know, and uh, you know, hopefully we can figure it out. Ty is twice in the last few weeks said that you guys just looked slower. You know, you know the numbers tonight on your part, on your team's part, suggest heavy legs. Is this team more tired than maybe it, it otherwise would be in any course of beginning? I mean, that's that's an individual question. I mean, we 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 look slow. Your mic is very very close to my chest. Appreciate it. I don't need another bow tonight. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, an individual question, but at the same time, yeah, we look a little slow versus a lot of these teams and. Uh, you know, it takes the individual, first of all, to feel like, okay, if I'm feeling a little slow, you got to get in better shape. You know, and it sucks to say, hey, it's March, you're not in good shape. But, but got to get in even better shape when you're playing some of these top teams that's just been, you know, plugging away all season long. So um, I know from a personal standpoint, um, I feel great. I, well, you know, I feel really I feel really good, actually. Brad, from a, a leadership standpoint, I wonder, you know it's a marathon, you know it's a long haul, but you also want this you know, this group playing on a certain level. Yeah. Do you speak up, you know, in, in a certain fashion this time of year? How do you handle it? Well, this is, you know, as my leadership, has, as I've learned over this season, there's a time and place for, you know, for certain situations, and I kind of wait for the right time. I mean, we're so... It's a delicate time fight right now for our team, and uh, there's a lot of people talking. You know, so you know, I, there will be a time where you know I'll say things, and um, you know, but I also got to go out and play too as well. You know, so I figured that point out. What do you mean a lot of people talking? Sorry. What do you mean delicate? A delicate situation right now. We've, we're just not playing good basketball. You know, so we got to figure that out. Do you sense that Kawhi raises his game when he plays you? It seems like he gets up to play you personally. No. Uh, what he did tonight is what he's been doing all season. What do you mean by a lot of people talking like us or like? No, no, no. The guys in the locker room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not not saying it's for the bad. I mean, we got a couple guys that's showing leadership. Obviously, right now we got some guys that has been in the fray before that's given their opinion. So, you know, my time will come. How fixable is the D? Around? What are you seeing on that end? You know, some of it. Guys are coming in and out. You got injury stuff, but defensively, it's more consistent. You gotta be more consistent. We gotta know what we're doing, and we gotta you know, give as much as we can, you know, and just make teams. Um, the teams gonna make shots, you know, like the shot Kawhi made at the end of the second quarter. He had two guys on him contested. He shot a one-hand jump hook from the free throw line. We, you, if you have more possessions like that, then the percentages will go down. The more and more possessions you have, where guys are just standing along and taking shots and no contest, or guys are getting open layups, and the, the, the percentages will go up. So, you gotta have more. Uh, consistency as far as contested shots. Well, there's, there's two ways to go about it. Like, you have heavy legs or another team seems fascinating. One, you can rest. The other way, you can get in better shape. Do you, do you, are those two sides in the same corner or is it just a different approach? Well, I mean, uh, I'm not one to... I, don't, I, I hate excuses. I don't... It's not what I'm about. It's never what I've been about. I don't like talking about injuries. I don't like talking about 
you know, the schedule and things of that nature. Listen, our schedule is our schedule. We've got 17 games this month. Uh, we've been in six different time zones in the last eight days. It is what it is. And uh, you know, we've got to try to fight through it. You're going to have heavy legs, but that's why we got a group of 15. Well, we've got some guys out. But we've got a, a, a group of guys that's uh, willing to go if someone else's legs is down. And, uh, you know, and you, you live with the results. Not to light a powder keg up here the last week and a half, but Ty said before the game when he was in Boston, Doc sat Kevin, Paul, and uh, Ray. Ray? Yeah, Ray. Mm -hmm. For like seven games at the end of the season, mm -hmm. they fell to the fourth seed. <clears throat> yeah. And they made the finals. Yeah. And he said he's considering doing that here because of what we've been talking about with heavy legs and everything mm -hmm. else. And he's considering it. What are your just thoughts on that, on setting an extended stretch given the way you guys are playing right now at the end of the season heading into the playoffs? Uh, sitting what the last seven games? I don't know X number, no specific number. Just sitting a, a, a block of games to get everyone rested and, and ready for the playoffs. Given everything you guys are. I don't through. know. I don't. I mean, you know, coach is going to you know, have his, um, you know, his logic of things. But at the end of the day, I mean, we need to play. Mm -hmm. um, just to, if we can get everybody back, you know, which is going to be very tough. And obviously, Shump just had the injury. You know, Kyle's probably going to be out a couple games, I believe. And, you know, getting care back from knee surgery and things of that nature, but you know, if guys are have, you know, if guys are having heavy legs, and they should go to coach and say they may need one. Or if it's a, you know, we got two days now, so we shouldn't have heavy legs on Thursday. But if it's an opportunity, then guys should take it. But I'm, I'm okay. When you play heavy legs, when other teams seem faster, is that, is that just athleticism or is that? No, no, no. It's, it's a little bit of everything. It's a little bit of everything. It's, it's uh, you know, the schedule can, can can sometimes bite you a little bit. Standings even matter right now, Brian. Guys are just trying to get back into Standings always matter. Always. Boston officially passed you guys. That's fine. <laughs> well, standings always matter. You won't be one eight to get in the playoffs, right? So it always matters. How much does it matter to you? How much does it matter to me? Um, it matters more that we're playing better basketball than where we're at. And if that results in us having the number one seed, the number two seed, three, or whatever the hell it is, I want us, we need to play better basketball. That's what it comes down to. So um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about anything. Um, I feel like when we're playing Cavaliers basketball, when we're playing the type of basketball we know we're capable of playing, we have full strength. We can start off on the road. We've done it before. All right, everybody.